Take a look at this. Dad was out here. He's got hidden talents didn't even know about. He took, he, he built this ramp up just using the little loader. There's no blade on it. Pretty windy out here, hope you can hear me. But now, you can get up here. Before, it was a really awkward ramp just on the side I'm walking up. There was nothing on this other side. Now I can use this space and um, makes it really functional. So I'm really glad he did it. We discovered that pile of gravel, it's kind of good fill, gravel, sand. I'm not sure what the category is, but it was here when I moved here eight years ago. It has something to do with the, um, the previous owner. Maybe they stored it there. We took full advantage of that, and uh, Dad built this ramp coming down and leveled it all out through here. Um, I've got one tractor. One of these 630s is up at Deer, and it's running. And we're going to take this one and pull it out. I um, cobbled together this. This battery box was really funky and bent up. So it, um, the seat... We'll now go on here. There's kind of an L-shaped bracket under the underside of that seat that sits on the back here. And these were all messed up before the holes to bolt it. So it's not pretty, but it's solid. So I got that done. And then um, the next thing to come in here, I'm going to take that planter and drive it around the other way and then bring it back in here on the concrete floor. I've got to take one of the planter tires out and install a um, lockout ring on it. And I was also having problems with row six. I think the depth is messed up, so I've got to mess around with that. But ultimately, all this is being done. These tractors out of here and this ramp built up because the Kernza is going to be stored in here over the winter in a, a 385 bushel seed tender or gravity box and I'm going to dry it. It's going to go into that tender after the thing's combined and it'll have to have moisture on it. So I got these screw-in augers. This is the fan part of it. It's a grain aerator dryer. I tried to find used ones but um, couldn't find them. So it's 110 volt. Then this is the screw-in part. Right, it's aerated, perforated on the bottom. You screw this in. There's a handle up on the top. And, well, I can't get the box open, but the blower attaches to the top. That'll let me dry that grain down in that. I won't have more than the 400 bushels, 385 bushels. It'll let me get it dry. I might have to hold it for up to a year. The idea being is, if it's in here... I can then shelter it and protect it from mice and keep the birds out of it and I keep an eye on it in terms of moisture. I might transfer it to totes, but it would be six or seven pallets permanently in here. I'm not sure which is best. And then the buckwheat that I'm going to grow for seed is also going to go in here. So the idea is that all these toolboxes will get relocated to this wall over here. And then I can pull stuff straight through. So it's kind of a moving project. Um, all this stuff has got to go get relocated. I still have to uh, get the screens for the seed cleaner there. Um, I'm really hard time sourcing that. I'm kind of wandering all over the place. And I need to change out the uh, gauge wheel tires, 24 of them or 22 of them or whatever on that. Maybe before I put the cover crop in after the week. Um, i go over here and show this as well. It'll show up, but I call these things wishbones here, these U-shaped things that are off of the toolbar. And the wishbones support these baskets in blue. 
it's obvious from the video, sorry about the wind, but this last wishbone on the end here, I think it's going to show up, but it's f at least four inches below everything else. And as best as I can tell, the error is in not this tapered pin, but the angle of the female end of the taper that's in this toolbar, in this tube, is tilted downwards at about 1.8 degrees. Because everything is level here, all, all the way across. So I'm talking to Matt about at Bay Shore Sales to see what he thinks. So I need to fix that. Um, that stand I was um, fixing bolts to the back there that welded up that got bent. Um, what else I got to work on? Oh, the field cultivator. There's a couple of shanks that are broken that need to get replaced. Cylinder on the rock picker needs to be uh, rebuilt. Hydraulic cylinder. And a little bit of work on the big disc has to be done. Um, there's some broken pieces on, on the end discs. The roof in here is generally pretty good, although there's some leaky spots. I've got to climb up there and caulk. I know, for example, all the way along there, I go up there with a rope because some of these purlins are pretty sketchy. And I've tried to get somebody out here to do it. It's impossible. Three or four or five years. I've had three or four people come out and say they've fixed it, but they haven't. Um, ultimately, what I want to do is extend this shed I'm standing in 40 feet that way and make it a 14-foot ceiling, but um, I'm going to need a couple, three good years of um, making some money on this farm as opposed to spending a lot of money before that happens. The wheat looks pretty good. I don't know if it's going to show up, but it's just starting to turn. It's yellowish now. So, um, yeah, there's a few weeds that are peeking through, but I don't think I'll have to swath it. Maybe I can just take the heads and... Um, Maybe two or three weeks away from being being ready to go. So that's the update. Just wanted to uh, brag a little on my dad to his other kids who don't know his hidden abilities. I'm telling you, he's got he's got talent. Oh, also out there in that field, need to improve that grass waterway. So I'm trying to put the bug in his ear. Hey, why don't we rent a bulldozer and then you? He's never used a bulldozer before, but. You can go out and carve that up. We'll get out there with a laser level and figure out where the where the pitch needs to be. Uh, the logical thing to do is to say, oh, just hire somebody. But where's the fun in that? Plus a bunch of stuff in here could get leveled out. I know it's not a beginner job, but got to start somewhere. Okay. It's kind of my rambling video. How long is this video? I don't know. Several minutes. For a seven minute video, I think it takes about three hours to upload. But um, hi to my siblings. If you end up watching this, uh, well, let me visit sometime. and Or I should visit you, for that matter. That's what you'll say. Okay, bye.